Hey everyone, I'm Liz Ferry, and today I'm going to show you how I made these fluffy bear ears out of crochet. I used this method to make a small doll-sized pair of ears, and also a full-sized pair of costume ears. If you would like a pattern for these ears, you can find one in the description of this video. Some things you'll need for this tutorial are a crochet hook, I'm using a size E, a pair of scissors, some bobby pins or stitch markers, and yarn. You can use any worsted weight yarn you like, but I'll be using a brown soft yarn because I want to make brown bear ears. Also, a softer yarn is a little easier to make fluffy later on. I'll also use a little bit of pink yarn to make the inner ear. You'll also need a yarn needle, and if you like, you can use a grooming brush to make the ears fluffy. I've already made one ear because both the right and the left ear are made in the same way. First, I'll make the back of the ear, then I'll make the front, then I'm going to put both sides together. Since I'm starting with the back of the ear, I'm going to start with the brown yarn. First, I'll make a slip knot using my brown yarn. Now I'll chain two to begin the row. The first chain will be the foundation, and the second chain is going to count as the first stitch. So I'll mark it with a bobby pin. Next I'll single crochet into the first chain that I made four times, so that I have a total of five stitches. Now I have four single crochets, as well as my beginning chain that counted as the first stitch on the loop of my slip knot. Now I'll pull the tail end of the yarn to close the slip knot. And now I'm just going to work in rows to make a half circle shape. I'll increase three times per row in the middle, not counting the first and last stitch of the row, until the back of the ear is big enough. Then I'll make the front of the ear the same way. So I'll chain one for the first stitch of the next row, I'm going to mark that stitch with my bobby pin as the first stitch on this side. Then I'll increase every middle stitch of this row since there are three stitches in the middle. So my first increase will go in the third stitch from the hook, so I'll single crochet in that stitch, then single crochet into that stitch again to increase and then I'll increase the next two stitches, so that I have three increases in the middle. Okay, I finished with three increases. Now I'll single crochet one more time into the last stitch of the row. I now have 8 stitches in my row. Now I'll continue to repeat that pattern, increasing 3 per row by the next number, until the ear is the size that I want. In the next row, I'll increase every second stitch in the middle of the row, again not counting the first and last stitches of the row, so chain 1 for the first stitch of the next row, turn the work, and mark that stitch. Then I'll increase every second stitch of the row 3 times until the end of the row, not counting the last stitch. Single crochet once in the next stitch, which is the third stitch from the hook after making the chain for the first stitch. Then single crochet twice in the next stitch to increase. Then again single crochet once in the next stitch, and twice in the next. Then one more time once in the next stitch, and twice in the next. Then single crochet into the last stitch of the row. Now I have 11 stitches in my row. I'll continue to repeat that pattern until the ear is the size that I want. In the next row, I'll increase every third stitch in the middle, so I'll chain one for the first stitch.
then increase in the middle every third stitch three times. Then single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Now I have 14 stitches in the row. Then in the next row, increase the middle every fourth stitch, chain one for the first stitch, then increase every fourth stitch three times. and then single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Now I have 17 stitches in my row. Keep increasing three times in the middle by the next number with one single crochet on each side. I went on for seven more rows. In my last row of increase, I had increased every 11th stitch three times in the middle, and I had a total of 38 stitches in the row. At the end of the last row, I'm going to chain one to end the work. And cut off my yarn. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing to make the front of the ear except I'll do the first seven rows at the front using my pink yarn to make the inner ear. So I'll start the same way with a slip knot. Then chain two to count as the foundation chain and the first single crochet stitch. And single crochet four more times in the loop. Then I'll increase three times per row for six more rows until the inner ear reaches a good size. At the end of my last row of pink stitches, I increased every sixth stitch three times in the middle, and I had a total of 23 stitches in the row. I won't finish the last pink stitch yet, so that I can change colors to my brown yarn to finish the ear. So I'll leave the last pink stitch open, and finish that stitch with a loop of brown. Then I'll continue to increase three times per row in the middle, now using brown, until I have the same amount of stitches for the front of the ear as I had for the back.
Again, in the last row on this side, just like on the other side of the ear, I'll increase every 11th stitch 3 times in the middle, and I'll have a total of 38 stitches in the row. For the front of the ear though, I'm not going to end the work at the end of this row like I did for the back. I'm going to keep going so that I can join the two sides together in the next row. Alright, I've finished both the front side and the back side of my ear. Next, I'm going to join the two sides together by crocheting through both sides at once, and I'm going to continue my pattern of increasing for this last row. So I'll increase three times while making this row too. So first, I'm going to line up the stitches at the top of the front side and the back side of the ear, then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch on the back side of the ear to count as the first stitch. Then I'll single crochet into the second stitch of both the front and the back of the ear at the same time. Then single crochet into the third stitch on both the back and the front. Then into the fourth stitch on both the front and the back. I'm going to work each stitch of this row that way, into both the front and the back, until I reach the last stitch of the row. Don't forget to increase 3 times in this row. Since we increased every 11th stitch in the last row, in this row you can increase every 12th stitch in the middle. Then at the end of the row, cut off a long tail of yarn to sew the ears together at the bottom, or to sew onto another project like a headband or a hat. If you like, you could leave the ears like that, or to give it a more realistic look, you could use a grooming brush to brush out the yarn and to make the ears fluffy. Just be careful not to brush the pink part.
And now these ears are done. I used a few bobby pins to attach the ears into my hair. I love the way it looks to fluff the ears, it really adds a lot. You can customize your ears as much as you like by using different colors or making the ears bigger or smaller. You could even make a doll sized pair of ears and use them with my basic amigurumi doll pattern to make a teddy bear. If you use this technique to make a pair of ears of your own, I'd love to see your interpretation. You can find all of my social media links in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and share it on social media. And if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos early, access to some of my prototype patterns, and discounts in my Ravelry store, depending on your level of donation. You can find out more about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. You could also subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!